What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G Ball Vision. Today I have another exciting unboxing to dig into for you guys. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. Greatly appreciate it everyone. So we have a knife coming in from Tuya Knives guys. And it is out of the mailer because we had a couple of different knives come in and I wanted them to have their own individual videos. So we have a nice plastic case, knife, comes in a plastic baggie. I'm guessing Dave Warren, who sent these guys over. So shout out to Dave and to you for sending these over. Uh, I'm sure he QC checked them before they went out the door. Uh, and I think that's why this guy is out of the bag. But this thing is not what I expected. For some reason, I was thinking it was a, a little bit smaller of a knife. And it's not a huge knife I don't think but uh, it's a lot beefier than I thought it was so and and I'm glad about that uh, we have a beautiful finish it's like an orange peel let's see what the box says voodoo s90v handmade satin flats orange peel titanium okay so I didn't I didn't even uh, take notice of that that's the first I've had this out of the case I haven't looked at it so we are experiencing this guy for the first time together and wow. So we have a hand satin on the flats and oh man, a vertical satin on the primary here. Whoo man, so this is a David Freeman of Freeman Knives design. Uh, and I'm not real familiar with his designs but I definitely like his language. Based on what I saw on the T Knives website, which I'll have linked down below, uh, it looked really good, but I didn't think it was quite as beefy as it is. And that's, that's really good because what I saw online was, you know, three and a quarter inch blade, but I think that has to be, is that the entire blade or just, is that just the uh, cutting edge here? Okay, so, well, I guess it's three and a quarter to here, but to here we're at three and a half, and we're getting just shy of two and three quarter inches of cutting edge. So that full finger choil, which I don't mind at all because <clears throat> almost three inches of cutting edge, it's close. Uh, that's, this is plenty of blade length to get the job done. Uh, utility knives with much smaller uh, blade length available, you know, often do way more work than something like this. So this is plenty of edge there to accomplish the job. And you're going to be able to do that very comfortably in this choked up position. And then that's also going to allow you to bury that middle finger in there and come up here for those detailed intricate cuts. We'll do some cutting here in a minute, but uh, let's go over this knife. So we said on the box, this is going to be coming in S90V. I don't know if we'll get that to pop up or not there. It's down here, very, very small. Uh, I don't think we're going to pick it up. It's uh, goofy in here right now. S90V, which is a fantastic steel. Two has been dealing with S90 for a little while at this point. Nice titanium backspacer. Nice titanium pocket clip. The detent, guys, is just stout. Real nice. Real stout. Uh, this thing is right up my alley. It really reminds me of... Uh, it, just because of the blade shape, it kind of reminds me of the GOM. It, it's totally different. Hand, it's a totally different knife, but just the blade shape being that nasty looking, uh, you know, Warren Cliff style blade. It just, oh, just such a great blade shape. And, and it reminds me of kind of <clears throat> like a brother of the GOM, which is, that's a really good thing. We have a nice thick blade stock here and that is going to be coming down nice and thin. So we'll see what kind of edge comes on that guy. And I might not have said it, but this was perfectly centered right out of the box. So 
standard milled clip for the most part. We'll have a little bit poking out of the pocket there. That's about the most I would want, but that's definitely manageable. And then you have a lanyard spot down there, uh, and he is using all of that handle for that blade. So for the ratio guys out there, the ratios, you know, as far as blade to handle, uh, he's getting he, he's getting all he can and being safe. Uh, I can't get my meaty finger in there too. Can oh, I can. So I can if I really dig in, I can uh, nip that tip. So he's using all of that and maintaining some safety there. Let's go ahead and cut something with this guy. And for some of the guys out there who are watching this right now, who are still hanging out, uh, you might not have heard of Tuya Knives. And that's okay because Tuya Knives is a fairly newer company to me as well. And that's how I know there's guys out there. Because, I, you know, by the time I heard about these guys, I had been in the community for quite a while. Uh and now two years, you know, a little bit more prevalent than maybe a year and a half ago or so. But, uh, you know, I hadn't really heard of them much and I hadn't really seen much from them. Uh, and then I picked up my own knife from them, the Envy. And guys, I was blown away. Uh, it was a very fair price and the materials and the build quality, everything was top notch. Uh, just, just a great build and great quality for a good price. Uh, and that's kind of what really put them on my radar. And then the Caladan came out, picked one of those up. It was another solid build. And, uh, just basically what I'm getting at, Two Knives is worth taking a look at. If you're in the, the knife hobby, if you're a collector of knives, you're looking for your next, you know, a little more premium EDC knife. Uh, Tuya is definitely a company to take a look at and heavily, heavily consider. Uh, they have different, uh, different blade shapes, you know, that they offer. Uh, they have different locking mechanisms, different designers. Dave does some of his own stuff. Uh, Jim Skelton, of course, and then David Freeman here, who did the voodoo. Uh, lots of different designers, different styles, different price points. So definitely a, a company to take a look at. And if they continue down the path that they are going right now, they are going to have their names at uh, very close to the top of that mountain with uh, some of the best production level knives in the game because the last couple knives I've had in from Tuya have just been outstanding guys really really good stuff coming from uh, Tuya why don't we go ahead and we'll see what it does against some cardboard here I cannot get over guys how much different <laughs> this feels in hand than what it looks like in the picture and I I always I keep forgetting that guys uh because pitchers sometimes just do not, you know, I thought this looked really good and I thought the materials looked really good for it. The price tag, uh, I just thought it would be a little bit of a smaller knife, but it's really not a big knife, but it, uh, it just feels and in person looks a lot different. I mean, even back here, I am getting a full grip. You know, I have about XL size hands. I have XL size hands for sure. And, uh, man, I'm getting a full grip back here. My pinky's down here on the slant, but not no big deal at all. And typically not going to be cutting unless it's just something real easy, real quick. Will I be in this grip? If I'm really doing something, uh, I'm going to be up here in that finger choil, no question. Or... I'm going to be here. So either way, I'm going to be using that choil. So I'm very rarely going to be back in here. Uh, like I said, unless it's just for something quick and easy, uh, not really going to be in that you know normal standard grip. Uh, we have good lock up there looking like, I don't know, 40% or so. 
Ooh, this thing's freaking locked up like a vault here, baby. Good to see, man. And, like, look at that. This thing's... I have to be careful because it's kind of like a Chavez. That's another thing right there. That's another one. The Chavez Sangre, the 229, and I think there's some other ones from Chavez as well, but that's really what this... It's like a Chavez got a mischief and like another knife or two all combined into one uh this thing is just mean as hell what a awesome awesome design the handle man really really nice looking really good uh the only thing i could really say is you know and like i i always say this maybe a little at least it has a decent backspacer here but uh, maybe a little longer of a backspacer and then maybe some jimping. But it doesn't need it because it's so, there's so much mass here. I mean, it would just be an extra additional nice thing, right? It doesn't need it to be a good knife. It's not making or breaking the knife. But it would just be one of those things that it would be nice to have in addition to all the other great attributes to this knife. But... As this knife sits right here in my hand, this thing is absolutely surprising uh, at just the aesthetic and feel. And then the build quality on this thing is just money. Completely centered, good lockup, uh, great finish on that blade after my fingers have been all over it. But phew, look at that thing. Oh, man. I guess we can while I'm thinking about it and we're talking about the lock. Let's just see. And, well, you know, keep in mind it's not broken in. Keep in mind we just got it out of the box. So there could be a little break-in period if there is a, you know, misfire here. But uh, haven't had any any misfires from a Tuya yet. So, and keep in mind, guys, I'm just doing... A, a light tap there just to make sure it isn't slipping very easily you know of course hitting it off my hand's not going to do the trick but you know something that's going to provide a little bit of you know opposition to that blade yes it's not a common thing yes it's not something that happens every day but you know accidents happen and that is why i check that it's based on something that's happening not on purpose it's not something that you are doing on purpose, driving a nail in, right? You know, or, or trying to hack up a tree without the blade, you know, that type of thing. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about an accidental bang on the spine of the blade or coming up into some material like, oh shit, I went too far and, you know, bringing it back up and hitting it on something. I've heard so many different stories, guys. Somebody just swinging around. Somebody startled them, and they were cutting something, and they hit the knife, the, the top of the spine off something. Stuff like that. Uh, all kinds of stories, guys. And, and don't, you know, for the guys who are like, that's not a valid test, I don't want to hear it, man. You know, you, you don't know what you're talking about. Let's just put it that way. Uh, you know, quit making excuses for faulty systems. But uh, as this guy sits here, it's not only is it rock solid, no play, but there is no lock failure. The detent is beautiful. I can thumb it. I can thummy. I can reverse bummy right there. I mean, this thing is... I can't get over this damn thing. Are these in stock? Yeah, these are in stock. At least this version is. S90V hollow ground. Whew. This thing is money. Cage ceramic ball bearings. Milled pockets for weight relief. Ceramic detent ball. Hardened steel lock bar insert. And then hardened steel washers. So we got bearings on washers. This thing's solid, guys. If this is your, can you, you can slow roll it out too, hell. So yeah, if, if you like the looks of this thing and you are in the market for, you know, a, a, a mid-tier, 
higher end production knife. I mean, these are only coming in at 250. So I mean, that's a that's an insane deal, guys, on this knife. Uh for the materials, the quality, the fit and the finish, all that, man, that's an outstanding deal. Unbelievable. That would be this would be 350 easy if it was like Riot. Uh or, or we knives select few other companies uh, they would be choo, and, and and 250 from to you and I've handled plenty of riots and plenty of other companies and this is up there with the best of them so to you keeps this up guys like I said they're gonna be in the mix at the top of the mountain. Let me know what you guys think. I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. Go watch another video. Share this video to your friends and your family. Tell them to come on over here and join us. Love you guys. I will catch you on the next one.